How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. As you see, the full Tang Tactical Kit Bag is back for another video, and that is to show you the scalability or the modularity of this kit. Now this one we're gonna be diving into medical and the capabilities of this kit and some of the smaller things that I carry with me, which is really cool and I like it. And that's why I, I kind of grasped onto this kit bag setup is because I could see so many different ways you could outfit this one kit. So you're not spending a ton of money for common guys or even, you know, departments or stuff like that. You're not dumping a ton of money into this kit, this kit, this kit, and this kit. Now you have to have an entire like locker room filled with kit for each like individual when you have one or a couple different ones that are the same thing that can be swapped or interchanged. So as you see here, this is my original kit bag. This is a version one and I use this a lot. I literally lived out of this kit for several training aspects and um, things that I've done, Tusk being one of them and it was an awesome kit. Now I use this one as my kind of hiking, fly fishing, kind of a setup, just have, you know, a pistol in here for, you know, large predators, which I live in the north. So it's really nice for that reason. And you see it does not have magazines in the back because it's removable or it's modular. So while as I'm hiking, I'm not putting AR magazines or AK magazines in this thing because it's scalable. So let's dive into this one. This is the new one. This is like their version two or I guess 1.5 I guess you could say some little upgrades were done to it but this is meant to be a metal kit medical kit and which it is and the cool thing is this is a placard or they all can act or work as placards to attach to plate carriers here's an Agalite K0 which I have used quite a bit in the CQB realm. And then this is my main kit over here on the left, my HRT, which I use pretty much every day for a different mission suit that I do. And they work, you know, I use them both for different things. But the cool thing is this can be literally attached straight in like a normal placard, and then you can remove it. So if you are designated that individual today of like, hey, you're medical today, which some teams run like that. Sometimes you're all certified the same and you're kind of just bounce it around, but sometimes you're not. But let's dive inside and kind of show you what's in this. Now, of course, on the exterior right here, tourniquet, tourniquet, and tourniquet. So I have three around the side and I have magazines up here. So if you are an entry team or something like that, SWAT team or whatever you're doing, you can run magazines. But if you're not, say you are a non-combatant, but they need a medical individual and you want to wear body armor to save your, or, you know, protect yourself from shrapnel and other stuff like that. The benefit is you don't have to use these magazines or this entire insert. This is another insert that you could run with. Now I have a different insert that Full Tank Tactical literally makes right here. It unzips and there's a whole pouch in the back. Or since it's Velcro, you can put whatever you want or even run the magazine carrier like this, but put Israeli bandages in here instead or whatever type of bandages that you prefer or your SOP, whatever it is, run them in there. No problem. Now diving into this thing, the cool thing, and I like how it expands out is it's more like a shelf. So as soon as you open this thing up, you, you can kind of choose how far this thing clamshells open like if you want it very tight and just want to grab some stuff you can do that but then you can pull the zippers all the way down if you really wanted to you can go even further than this and it'll be like a shelf almost for you so looking inside here this thing is fairly pretty good max out for a team worth of you know medical stuff or trauma stuff you know you have israeli bandages you have you know, occlusive dressings, you have down here needle Ds, you have um, gloves, um, combat gauze or quick clot, which a lot of people, you have normal gauze in here and then Israeli bandages along the back. And you could even put more stuff in here. This is just roughly what I put in and testing out for an upcoming training event that I have going on that I need medical stuff. And it just got me thinking, I'm like, this is honestly perfect. And that's kind of what I saw in the beginning. So like I was talking about is you could zip this all the way down to, you could have like elastic keepers in here. And this thing goes all the way down like a shelf and then you can work on it or work with whatever you want. And then of course, 
push it back up and then zips back up very easily. So that's what I wanted to like mainly show you. Of course, you can expand this system out as well. I mean, here's the Bees Combat Systems wings, which I ran at Tusk, which is awesome as it pluses up on magazines, has some other stuff, but Full Tank Tactical recently and just came out with their own version of the wings. So again, you can plus up on extra things makes it really nice is in if you just buy this piece then now you're even plussing up more and it's all modular so you can tear it off and go slick heck you could even run this on a plate carrier if you really wanted to or you could run it as a harness so i wanted to just kind of show you the capabilities of this kit as in this kit bag is not just the typical kind of hill people gear kit that is designed for one thing it's like hey i'm going out in the back country i'm hiking you can absolutely do that with this kit easily. Or in that moment, you're like, hey, I have a training you know, exercise or something, or I have a training course that I've purchased and I wanna go get better at rifle manipulation. You don't need to go buy another kit. Run the same kit and just put different inserts in it. Or if you need to be a medical guy, run medical stuff in it you know buy two of these kits or three which i know it's expensive or you could just run one and completely modularity and scalability to whatever you want whenever you need it hiking kit i mean that's what i really use mine for or a fly fishing kit you know i could go on and on you've got heard this enough but ultimately Version 2 is pretty cool. I really like it. It's a little bit better streamlined. It has a little better um, additional pieces like Molly down the side, Molly on the front. You know, little things, attention to detail. So there's going to be more videos on this to come, but I just wanted to share that with you. I think this is a really cool product for a potential, you know, just a medical based kit. Or this could be your active shooter kit, honestly, because, you know, you're going to do what you need to with pew pew food and then you can save people's life at the same time with all this stuff in the front you can put danglers like i have on this one put this one as your main ifac you know i have a water bottle in this one and you can just kit it out heavy light however you want cool so that's what i want to discuss i think it's an awesome kit personally i am not like invested so you could buy a hundred thousand or ten thousand of these kits I make zero money. So this is my actual opinion and I'm not bought off. I can say whatever I want. As you see, I am utilizing this kit. I am integrated with this kit. It works for me. And if it works for me, it may work for you. So that's the whole idea is just me passing on stuff that works for me to what kind of YouTube does. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely like subscribe. If you like this stuff, I'm just going to throw down a uh, link to their webpage to their, where you can purchase this stuff from. I make zero money off of any of these purchases. Um, Amazon affiliate links. I do make a little bit of sense. So if you do like to support the channel, then go through my Amazon links and purchase stuff because everything that's there on the webpage is stuff that I vet and I've said, I like this. So if it's not on the webpage, then I don't like it or I haven't used it. We also have PayPal. You can donate there or we have Patreon. So you get early access to everything. Like right now, as this video is being filmed, my um, Tusk course is released to my Patreons and they can see it, but normal YouTube at the moment can't see it. So you get early access. So just an option if you don't want to. Okay, that's fine. I'm not really too concerned. Just keep enjoying the content. So other than that, hope you all have a great day.